Welcome back to Full Circle with Mwikali. How are you doing? Where are you watching us from? Triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. Switch TV KE on Instagram, Switch TV Kenya on Facebook. I think moral of the story is just teach our beautiful girls that they are beautiful. They are beautiful. Let's not focus on what they look like and what skin tone they are. Let's let them grow knowing that they are acceptable and they are loved the way they are. Okay, moving away from that, let's get into the spaces in our homes. What do you look, what do you like your house to look like? What are the interiors like? Do you know what warm neutral colors are? Even I do not know. I'm going to find out in a bit. It's time for Business Circle. And Bridget is in studio to help us with us. <laughs> Karibu sana. Kindly introduce yourself to the people and tell us exactly what you do before we get into, you know, creating a beautiful interior space. Okay. Thank you so much. Terrible. My name is Bridget Aringo. I am an interior designer by profession and I work for Victoria Coats as a visual merchandiser. Visual merchandiser. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be here merchandising everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what does that mean you do? Visual merchandiser. Yes. That means um, I, work, um, I, I ensure that our spaces, like what we sell in Victoria Courts, the furniture, mm -hmm. we ensure that the displays are looking nice. As ah. you come in, it's easy for you as a client. As you walk, you can easily buy and connect to the spaces. You can experience by what you see. Yeah, we ensure that um, our displays are visual. They mm. they zidakuita. Okay. Mm, yes. That they is actually, how you walk in and be like, Nataka is it? Yote venye wa meka meza na kiti. Yes. That is your carpet na kila kitu. Na your carpet na kila kitu. Can yeah. you just pack this for exactly. me? Exactly. If you had a, yeah, if you had an intention of just shopping around, yes. you end up now buying. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that is what you do. Yes. So today we're talking about creating, you know, an interior space with a warm neutrals. Yes. What are those? Okay. What are warm neutrals? Warm neutrals are they just colors. Yeah. Um, in primary, we learned about primary colors mm -hmm. like red, green. Mm -hmm. uh, so warm neutrals are now colors that are in between. If you if you take red, then add a gray on a red. Red and then you add a gray. gray. What will happen to the color? I think it will not be as dark red as yes. it was. So it will be another. Yes, some yeah. other neutral color, yes. interesting color, mm. same as green. So yes. a bit nude, but very interesting colors. Those are warm colors. Also, instead of adding gray, you can add brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to um, maybe red or blue. So there's a tone, a particular tone of color you're going to achieve. Okay. Yes. Is this um, is this the new trend? Has it always been like this, or what? How? Why is it so catchy now? Uh, yeah, that's a that's a trend that has been there mm -hmm. for quite a long time, mm -hmm. and people are embracing um, time by time. You know, the world is changing, and yes. people are embracing change. People want to be in um, in style mm -hmm. every time. So the warm neutrals have been trending for quite a long time, and they are still there. They are still popular. People are looking into it like they want to embrace it. Because if you work in a particular place and they have done neutral, uh, warm neutral colors, it's easy for you to identify. There's something different about this space. Okay. And so that makes people, I want, I want such an environment in my house. I want to incorporate this in my office. Okay. Yeah. And so it's still moving on. And away from the paintwork mm -hmm. itself, that means there are other things that you also incorporate in this space that will also, you know, give that kind of feeling as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what things would that be? Uh, in your space, mm -hmm. yeah, you talk of um, furniture. Okay. As you come in your space. Mm -hmm. So paint on walls, mm -hmm. you can add furniture. You can still incorporate warm neutrals. Even in the furniture yes, as well? Yes, even in the furniture. Okay. Because this is furniture. Yes, it I'm is. I'm sitting on a furniture. Yes. Yes. This is fabric mm. oh so it's key it is in every single thing that you put in even the carpet yes even okay. the carpet mm -hmm. so you just play around with the colors talk of the grays that are not so dark a bit light like warm gray colors mm -hmm. those are warm neutrals talk of um uh, beige ah, yes that's a warm neutral yeah that's a warm neutral okay and those okay. are colors that we are bringing in it makes your space look nice look sophisticated in mm -hmm. a calm environment as well oh look at that 
Yes. So would you say that's a warm neutral? Yes. Then I think my house is close to a warm neutral. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Only yes. that we didn't know. Is this a warm neutral as well? Yeah. Talk of uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's that combination. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you if you look at that, the furniture, the curtains, you can see the warm neutrals, the warm grey, uh, the light. There's such a beautiful thing about it. Yes. It's it's it doesn't look congested yes. it looks colorful in not a too much yes minimal yes it's yeah. very minimal it's i think that's minimal. the word i'm looking for yes yes yes, yes okay yes. okay yeah. and a victoria furniture this is what you do yes this is what we do we have spaces that will showcase oh, what we have beautiful. yeah because if a client comes in the, and the, they don't know what they want in their space mm -hmm. they just uh, maybe they want a minimal space mm -hmm. in their houses they don't yes. know what to do yes so in our displays what we have done as you come in, you mm -hmm. can be able to tell this is a warm neutral um, theme that has been used in this space. Uh, this is an African theme that has been used. This is a modern space. So it's easy to convince a client on what they really want. Y and it looks like we, you know. Yeah. I can see it already. So that means if I just transfer this or maybe have you work on my space, then that means I will get, if not better than what is already on display. Yes, yes. At the, at the, at the showroom. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've made their so life easy. When so there's colors and we've seen that but then there's also a way like shapes of things just sort of like blend in mm -hmm. when you get um maybe a square kind of sit then mm -hmm. you won't go around getting maybe uh i don't know maybe a square table maybe a round table would be perfect for that mm -hmm. is it how, how does it work um when it comes to shapes mm -hmm. uh they're different shapes we we have we have grown up knowing Shapes. Yes, yes, yes. Circle, yeah. square, triangle. Mm, oval. Yeah, oval. Right now we have organic shapes, which uh, come from the inspiration of the plants, animals. So if you take a circle, say meile chapati, me round. Yes. Yeah, and then you start pinching and pulling out uh -huh. the shapes. In a change. Exactly. Yeah. And that becomes very interesting. Like designers have, 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 uh, have, 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 have become so creative mm. in such a way. You just play around with what we know, but make it more creative. So the Iyoki to Mechuna Chuna like that becomes yes. an inspiration. And then now you come up with a coffee table that looks like such a thing. Ah. And bec yeah, it becomes very interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Look at the natural wood. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Kata amti, what happens to the tree? I, in a kuwa. It becomes probably half mm, mm. or it's, it's breaking, it's mm -hmm. cracking. Mm. And that becomes an inspiration. And the backs are being used as, yes. you know, beautiful pieces in the house. Yes. Just the back of a tree. Yes, just the back of a tree. And oh you look at goodness. it, you're like, wow, I didn't even think of this one. Yeah. Yeah. Think of a leaf. If an insect bites the leaf, what happens? There's Is a shape it? created. Yes. yes. That's also interesting. And if you look at the patterns we are using, maybe like this, if it's a, a pillow cover, there are those patterns that are used. Like inspiration goes all round. All round. Yeah. So I'm just looking at this cabinet, it's round and our seat is yes. oval, so it just fits <laughs> right in. Exactly, exactly. So we have all these things around us. And do we have, would you say that some common or grievous mm -hmm. Um, interior decor mistakes that we do in our homes that you just like to highlight? Yes, we do. Okay. A lot of mistakes. Oh even Lord. us as designers. Hey. And we learn, we learn as we move on. Mm -hmm. There are those mistakes that we make. Um, number one, I'll say at times when you want to buy like furniture and you go look at the display, you're like, this is what I want for my house, exactly as it is. But in your house, you're not sure of the dimensions that you have. So you go buy uh, we have those cases in our showroom. Yes. Um, organized deliveries and everything. So furniture, zimelet wa kwako. You love how it is. Weka kwa nyumba imekata. The furniture goes all the way up to the door. Or it goes, they're just a mistake. Yes. It's just a mistake done. Yeah. Those are mistakes we do. Also, um, before you buy a furniture, maybe for example, buy, yeah, before you buy furniture, ensure you know the colors of your walls. It's easy. Mm. And that's why talking of warm neutrals becomes very easy to blend in any type of furniture because they never disappoint. Mm. They never disappoint. The warm neutrals never, dis ne ne never disappoint. Okay. So at least be sure of the colors you have on the, wa on the walls and at least get someone to give you directions before you make any decisions. If you're not sure of any design uh, style that you want to take, at least have someone to direct you like a designer. Yes. Yeah. Ask someone um, this, this and this and this I want. Mm -hmm. So what can I do. do yes how can i go about this and yeah this? and that's why we are here as designers to help design consultants as you come 
we will be able to advise to you see. well. Because you, uh, you've gone into a house where it is a corner house. Ile yes. iko in a cat triangle. Uh -huh. And that's the living room. You don't <laughs> yes. even know where to put the TV exactly, fast exactly. and everything. So if you buy what you see without mm -hmm. looking at what you have yes. in the house in terms of space, mm -hmm. then that could be a problem. Maybe you don't even need all of those seats. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So I'm gonna pesa inasumbua. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I have money, I can it's get like, anything. Yeah, and I'm here to sell. Mm -hmm. But then I will try, but then there are people, even when you give them mm -hmm. your piece of advice, they wouldn't listen to yeah, it. Yeah, 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 true. They are there. Yeah, they are there. You're like, this will not work for your space. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, I was thinking, you see this one? No, yeah. personally, my style. Oh, and you're and like, then it's okay. like, okay, fine, just do it. Yeah, just so do we've it. seen mm -hmm. styles in our homes change over the years. Yes. From the days of wall units. Murefu mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in a talk up in a to make a big combat, glass TV, yes. everything in yes. there. Yes. And yes. it keeps changing yes. to a lot of things happening in the house to mm -hmm. very minimal things very happening, minimal. happening yeah, in the house. Yeah that you have to also keep abreast of what is coming, what is changing. Yes, definitely. We have to do that. And talk of the wall, uh, the TV unit this is. Yes. Right now we are doing very small. Minimal. Kidogo. There's Minimal. nothing in there. Nothing. First of all, we're not even getting DVDs. Yeah, yeah, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> we're just like, do you have Netflix? Exactly. Or, you know, you can get everything <laughs> on whatever, you yes. know. So it's, things have changed. And that means even in terms of business yes. and consulting, you have to also change with time. Very true. And you see, furniture is an investment as well. Yes. So um, if you're keeping with the trend that is coming in, it's easy for you can invest. In mm. the next like uh, five years to come, you can buy something and still have it because you're catching up with the trend. They okay. usually stay for a longer time. Even the warm needles, they've been there. But as we go, as we go, you come to realize that uh, like a warm needle can be, can be a white, like just a white color with an undertone of green. Like the okay. green is whispering. In a kuitia uko. Mm. Like a green is just telling you something. Green? Yes. Wow. Yes. And you're calling that a warm neutral. Okay. Yeah. So are there colors that are no no when you talk about like the different uh, different rooms of the house? Mm -hmm. Like colors you'd prefer or maybe suggest for the bedroom mm -hmm. or for the kitchen mm -hmm. or for, you know, the living room as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because uh, today we are talking about warm neutrals. First mm -hmm. of all, I'll start with that. Yes. They will never disappoint. In all kinds of in rooms? In all kinds of rooms. Okay. Yeah. Because you'll always play around with your bed, with your throw pillows, with everything. Talk of the kitchen. When you go to the kitchen, you want a welcoming environment. Yes. An environment that will make you comfortable. You're there and you're feeling good. Even as you eat the food, they go together. You're feeling gorgeous in the kitchen. So for me, I would go for um, a lighter shade in the kitchen to make it a bit warm. Okay. Like uh, the one I'm saying, uh, white with a whisper of green somewhere. Mm -hmm. That will make your kitchen at least alive. Okay. Like it won't be so, so dull. I will not do... A black black in the kitchen. No. Yeah. There's, there's some kitchens with black that yes. look so nice. Yes. But then those are those ones. <laughs> yes, those are those ones. Again, it's different. Uh, but then it happens that way in like huge spaces. If it's a yes. huge space, yes. if it's your tiny little cubicle of uh, kitchen, mm -hmm. you can't go painting black exactly. in there. Exactly. But if it's like this whole room is your yes. kitchen, then yes. by all means. Yeah, you can play you around. You can with have the, the cabinets with black and yes. then the surfaces with white. Yes. But then if it's really tiny, mm -hmm. if it's tiny, let's make it bigger by yes, brighter colors. by brightening the colors that's okay. right yeah and also oh. the lights are there they are mm. helping us yes yeah so if you have if you have um, a bigger space um you can do the dark colors and then having lights you incorporate it balances but you have a small space at a time you're still struggling with the lights and you're struggling I'll on black. On exactly <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I think that's a good highlight mm -hmm. that your kitchen needs to be bright. Yeah, and I think be that's that's beautiful. Yes. Uh, for the bedroom, what colors would you suggest? Uh, soft colors for the bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, people play around with the colors as well. I mean, the lights as well. Yes. Uh, which go hand in hand with the colors. I would suggest um, a warm gray, like a lighter shade of gray. Mm -hmm. You can also do a beige on your wall. That will also work well mm -hmm. uh, because for a bed. I bet uh, people, we've grown knowing you have to do white, white, white. Yes. Yeah, but right now you can play around also with the gray. They also go hand in hand with the warm neutrals as you do to the walls. Yeah, so you just play around with the lighter colors. I think the highlight of this is please get help. Get in touch with Bridget. <laughs>
<laughs> find out before you make a mess out of your house. This is a place that you go home to every single day. Yes. You don't want to walk in and be like, what is this? What did I do? Just because you didn't want to consult or get help. If you're building, I think it's important to have this information way beforehand so that you know exactly what you will need when that time comes. How can people get in touch with you, Bridget? Um, on Facebook, mm -hmm. I have a very hard name, Arijita. Arijita. Where? <laughs> Arijita is A R I D G I D B T A H. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's social media. Yes. Victoria Coop. Victoria. Victoria. Mm -hmm. uh, Victoria Courts is in Westlands. We have a branch in Westlands. That's the head. Uh, the head office. We have another branch in Garden City in Mombasa Road. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much for coming. Mm. Asante sana. Great. Just Thank before you. we go on a quick commercial break, uh, I just want to remind all our youngins out there, if you're trying to get into college, if you want to go get the best, well, Kipps Technical College is one of the largest neck examination centers in this country, and it's a premier tertiary institution that has been established and mandated to operate by TVET authority. So when it comes to studying technical courses, Absolutely no one beats Kips College. So they offer high quality technical and professional training to all who aspire to acquire and improve, you know, their skills, skills relevant to the job market, skills relevant to entrepreneurship. So Kips has ultra modern learning facilities. They're highly qualified and experienced lecturers. They have attachments, layers on offices and counseling and all of this make Kips the preferred choice. So good news to you, July intake is ongoing for full-time evening and even online classes. So all you need to do is apply today and study with the best. And if you need more information, all you need to do is visit their campuses. We have one at Afia Center. That is the Afia Center campus. We have Philadelphia and Philadelphia Building. And on Thicker Road campus, Kunamirema, Naroi Sambu, and Greenspan campus, Eco Greenspan Mall. The other thing you can do is also call them, 79 Four nine zero because Kips Technical College is sure, sure, sure path to success. We'll be right back after this break. <laughs>